Happy New Year, y'all. I hope you all are doing really well. All right, so today I've got this Sears Craftsman welder manufactured in 1975. So that's basically 50 years old. So I'm going to scrap it today. So I'm just going to finish taking off this piece of aluminum here. And we got ourselves a piece of aluminum. And it does have the cables here. Look at that nice chunky copper. We'll be stripping this. And now it's got a bunch of screws on this side and the other side I gotta remove. Pretty nice. I think I'll save those. Now I can get to this other screw here. And there it is. Uh, it's probably going to be aluminum. But we'll find out. We still got screws on this side to do. These bands look like they're copper. So maybe, maybe this one will be copper and that one will be aluminum. I don't know. Clip this cord right here. It's gonna go ahead and clip these. Yeah, have a look at that stuff. Yeah, that's, I'd bet money that's aluminum. But this, this is promising that this might be copper. All right, I can get this undone. Oh yeah, that's not magnetic. Let's scratch it with the file. That's copper. Go ahead and remove this. It'll make it easier to get it out of there. That fell off of there. That's got to be brass, I would think. It's not magnetic. Check it with the file. Oh yeah, that's certainly a piece of brass. There we go. Another chunk of brass. And kappa, kappa, okay, couple more screws to remove. Now we can remove this, or almost. 
We gotta remove this now. Okay. Pull this little chunk of wire out of there. That that end there, that's gonna be copper. What y'all wanna find out? Is this aluminum or is it copper? It's aluminum. Dang. Oh well. What about this side? Wow. Aluminum as well. So these copper bands are all that's copper. And these, you can see it's aluminum. Well, that's a bummer. At least I got some copper out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole thing though. I'm gonna have to unwind it anyways to get this piece of copper. It's deep inside. So I'm thinking, man, and all this tape on here, all this tape on here, I don't, hopefully it'll come off. Yeah, it's coming off. Anyways, I'm just going to unwind this. And we got the last piece of copper. Let's go ahead and clip this off. We'll clean that up a little further. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this to get it out of the way. Okay, we got that out of the way. That'll, that'll go as prepared steel number one. So I can unwind this copper like, th or copper, the aluminum like this. That's the last of that. All right, let's get this power cord removed here. That's some good stripping wire right there. Now we just need to get this fan off of here. that out we still got to take that apart it looks like there's a piece of aluminum here so I just got three screws to undo and there's the aluminum all right let's get this switch cleaned up this part right here, 
and on both sides that's copper so we definitely want to get that and we got some brass connectors so we need to undo all this couple pieces of aluminum and we got some brass connectors there and on the end right here so clip those off a little bit of little piece of insulated wire now for this Yeah, that's all going to be copper. Well, maybe we would just... Oh, that came off. Those are just riveted on, so that was easy. Those are copper. Well, let's see what happens here. Okay. There they are, little pieces of copper. Just pry off these other ones. And the rest of this is all magnetic. So we got some more copper, all right. Okay, now we want to deal with all this stuff. These ends here that's brass. So go ahead and cut that off. Because we got to strip this wire. Let's see if I can cut this material off. Yeah, it's cutting. There we go. Let me cut that insulation off. Go ahead and cut that copper off of the brass. Piece of brass and a little bit of copper. All right, now that's just steel. Go ahead and clip that off because I got to strip this wire. More copper. Now this end. Yeah. That looks like it's it's bronze. My yard just gives me yellow brass, so I'll just toss that into the brass. We have a screw in there. Okay, got that screw removed. Oh yeah. Now we just got another screw right here. And there pulls out the copper. Now we still got some stuff to clean up to make this clean. There we are. Spring is out. Eyeballs are intact. And now that is a clean piece of bronze. Now that's ready to strip. But We've got the power cord. So I'm go ahead and cut off this plug here. Got some nice brass in here. I save these for the summertime and I stick them out in the hot sun and it softens up 
this material and you can just pry these prongs out or if you can't be bothered with that you just cut these flush right here and take your brass and be on your merry way now we got to strip this and yeah this will go through my wire stripper All right, well, I got the copper out of here. Uh, just a little pro tip. If you're ever going to record videos, make sure you hit the record button. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't get it on camera, but I just cut this, pulled this out, and then I cut this flush here, and then pulled the copper out. No big deal. But, yeah, I forgot to press the record button, so apologize for that. All right, let's crunch some numbers. Okay, so we've got some shred steel there's 26 pounds and that's two dollars now we got this and this piece that'll go as prepared number one that is 65 pounds for seven dollars and 83 cents now we got all the aluminum that's eight pounds for three dollars and 44 cents now we got the brass, that is 12 ounces of brass, so that's a dollar fifty. And now we got all the copper, and this is four and a half pounds for thirteen dollars and seventy seven cents. That's a grand total of twenty eight dollars and fifty four cents, which is not bad at all. If that had been a copper transformer, it probably would have been about seventy five dollars. But that's all right. I will take that $28.54. That's going to conclude today's video. I thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the video. If you're new to my channel, I'd ask that you would consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And to all of my subscribers, thank you so much for being here. God, thank you for another wonderful day. God, I just ask that you will bless this year. For all the people watching this video, God, that you will bless this year that 2024 will be the best year of their life, full of blessings, full of miracles, full of healing, full of breakthroughs. So I just lift them all up to you now, God, and I pray that you would just bless them abundantly. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.